Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna show you, how you can filter products by their price using PHP, Ajax and MySQLi. Now let's get started. First of all, create a folder called, Filter Products. Under this, I have created another three folders called, CSS, JS and Uploads. This folder contains our custom CSS file called style.css. This is the custom CSS code. This folder contains JS code. I will create JS file later. And this one is used for product images. After this, create an index.php file. I have used Bootstrap for front end part. So these are Bootstrap CSS and JS CDN. You can copy these links from Bootstrap official site or from my description. I have already created the design. This div contains both the columns. These are Bootstrap classes. I have created two columns. First one is responsible for price range slider, and the other one will be used to keep our products. This class contains our product card one. Similarly, all these classes contains further number of product cards. Now let's fetch our products from database. This is the database I am going to use. Let's write the code for fetching the data. Create a config.php file and write code for connection to database. Include this config file in your index.php file. Next create another file called fetch.php. Write the MySQLi select query for fetching all products. This query selects all the products whose product status is equal to 1 and display them in descending order. Include config file here. Include this file in index.php. Using while loop, fetch the database table's row values and display them. Open the while loop after the class row. Using these variables display the table row data.
Remove rest of these product cards because through while loop, all the products will be fetched. Close this while loop before the end tag of this class row. Let's check that our all products are fetched or not. As you can see our products have been fetched successfully. This product has not been fetched because its status is zero. Now, our next step is to create the price range slider using jQuery UI user interface. To create price slider, you have to include jQuery UI CSS and JS CDN. Search this and click on this link. Copy both of these links from this site and paste them in your index.php file. Search jQuery UI price range slider. Click on this link. Let's use this price slider. Copy this div section. And paste it in this div section. Remove this container class section. Remove these three classes too. Let's check it on browser. Now let's copy JS code. Create a script.js file under this JS folder. Paste the JS code here. Now go to index.php file and using script tag, add this script.js file. Let's check that our slider is working properly or not. As you can see, it is working properly. Now let's copy CSS code for its design. Create a custom CSS file called style.css in this CSS folder. Paste the CSS code here. This is my own CSS code. This code is responsible for product cards. This is for price slider. I am removing some of the styles that I don't need. Change this CSS style according to your needs. Let's check how it looks. Change this slider color. Now we have fully created our front-end part. Let's write the code for product filter. First, go to script.js file and copy this code. And make this function as comment. Now go to index.php file and start the jQuery code. Paste that copied code here. Go to script file and copy these two codes. And paste it after this ending brace. Then, create a function called filter products. Under this function store the values of minimum and maximum input price values. Copy the ID of both the inputs from here.
Let's display these values using alert function. Call the function after the document is loaded. As you can see, it is working and showing us both the input values. Now cut this calling function and paste it in this code before this brace. Now, as you can see filter products function is called after the slider is slidded. Comment this alert function, and create a new file called fetchdata.php. Let's add a simple code to this page. Now go to index.php page to write the jQuery Ajax code. as we have called this function in the slider. So this code means, after sliding the slider, page will redirect us to the fetchdata.php using Ajax method. Remove this div section from here. And wrap your all products in the div section with an ID search results. So this code means, after we filter our products, all filtered products will show here. Now, let's check that our page is redirecting to the fetchdata.php or not. As you can see, it is redirecting. Now we will write our query to select products according to our selected prices. This code means, if both minimum and maximum price values are set, then a query will run which selects only those products, whose status is 1, and price occur between minimum and maximum price range. This code means, if product is not matched with this criteria, then this message will be shown. Include the config file here. Now go to index.php and copy this div section whose class is row. Close PHP code here and start PHP for this brace. And paste that copied code here. Now let's check our code. We have to remove this message. Oops, an error occurred. Go to script.js file and comment these code of lines. Now move to fetchdata.php. Let's check the code. Oh, I forgot to declare these variables. Store these values in variables. Let's now store them in their respected variables. Now, let's check again. As you can see, it is working properly. Now we will write the code to filter products on entering the values in these input boxes. This code means, if an user write any value in these boxes, then this function will be called. 
add the text loading in this function so that it appears before filtration of products. Let's check again. As you can see, we have completed our price filter task. This is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.